For decades, the global semiconductor industry was governed by a simple but powerful belief, only Western technology, and specifically Western-made tools, could produce the world's most advanced computer chips. This conviction shaped not just business decisions but also the very foundation of international policy and trade. The West, led by the United States and its closest allies, built a system of controls and regulations designed to keep the most sophisticated chip-making equipment out of the hands of potential rivals. At the heart of this strategy was the control of EUV lithography machines, massive, complex devices essential for manufacturing cutting-edge chips. These machines produced by just a handful of companies became the crown jewels of the industry, and their export was tightly restricted. The US and its allies believed that by limiting access to this technology, they could maintain a decisive edge in the global tech race. This approach wasn't just about economics, it was about national security. By keeping China and other competitors from acquiring the latest chip-making tools, Western powers hoped to cap their ambitions in artificial intelligence, advanced computing, and even military hardware. The message was clear, without access to these machines, rivals would remain a generation behind. But in recent months, this long-standing conviction has been shaken to its core. Headlines around the world have reported breakthroughs that many thought impossible just a few years ago. Engineers and analysts alike have been caught off guard by the speed and scale of these developments. Reports now suggest that China's leading chipmaker, SMIC, has managed to achieve a technological leap, finding ways to bypass Western restrictions and produce advanced chips on its own soil. This achievement is more than just a technical milestone, it's a statement of intent and capability. The assumption that Western nations would always hold the upper hand in semiconductor technology is now being seriously questioned. Chinese engineers, working with limited resources and under intense pressure, have demonstrated remarkable ingenuity and determination. The idea that China was permanently locked out of the most advanced levels of chipmaking has been proven wrong. The gates that once seemed impenetrable are now opening and the world is watching as a new player steps onto the stage. This is not just a story about a single company or a single breakthrough, it marks a fundamental shift in the balance of global technological power. Boardrooms, governments, and industry leaders everywhere are now rethinking their strategies as the semiconductor landscape rapidly evolves. Ironically, the very blockade designed to halt China's progress has instead fueled a wave of innovation and determination. Faced with obstacles, Chinese scientists and engineers have pushed harder, achieving feats that are now reshaping the future of the global chip industry. At the heart of this technological upheaval lies Project Phoenix, a bold and ambitious initiative that is rapidly reshaping the future of China's semiconductor industry. Launched as a state-backed mission, Project Phoenix is designed to secure China's independence in semiconductor manufacturing, a sector that has become the backbone of modern economies and national security. The project brings together the nation's brightest scientific minds, leading engineers, and innovative companies, all working in unison to create a robust, self-sustaining ecosystem for chip design, fabrication, and supply. Project Phoenix stands as a symbol of China's technological rebirth, a direct response to mounting U.S. restrictions in the global race for chip supremacy. It's not just about catching up, it's about redefining the rules of the game. The initiative is deeply intertwined with China's broader ambitions, linking advances in semiconductors to breakthroughs in military technology, aerospace exploration, and the rapidly evolving field of quantum computing. Backed by massive financial support from Beijing, with billions of yuan funneled into research, infrastructure, and talent development, Project Phoenix is creating a protected environment where innovation can flourish without external interference. The strategy is clear. Eliminate reliance on foreign technology, foster homegrown solutions, and ensure that every stage of the semiconductor supply chain is firmly under Chinese control. Project Phoenix is China's decisive answer to the vulnerabilities exposed by the global chip war, a conflict that has revealed just how critical and fragile the world's semiconductor networks truly are. By declaring independence from foreign strategic calculations and transforming past weaknesses into newfound strengths, Project Phoenix is not just a technological revolution. It's a statement of national resilience and ambition. SMIC's breakthrough lies in a radical departure from conventional methods. Faced with strict export controls and a global technology blockade, China's leading chipmaker had to innovate or risk falling behind. 
instead of simply trying to catch up with Western technology, SMIC charted its own course, reimagining how advanced chips could be made with the resources available at home. Rather than replicating the Western approach, which relies heavily on the latest and most expensive equipment, SMIC reinvented the process from the ground up. Their engineers focused on maximizing the potential of existing tools, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible with older machinery. At the heart of this innovation is AI-driven multi-patterning. This advanced technique breaks down incredibly complex chip designs into a series of much simpler patterns, which can then be processed sequentially. By leveraging artificial intelligence, SMIC can optimize these patterns for both efficiency and accuracy, ensuring that even intricate circuits can be manufactured reliably. These simplified patterns are then etched onto silicon wafers using older lithography machines, equipment that, while not state-of-the-art, is still highly effective when used in new ways. This approach allows SMIC to sidestep the need for the most advanced, restricted tools, making the most of what's available domestically. Artificial intelligence also plays a crucial role in ensuring perfect alignment during the manufacturing process. By constantly monitoring and adjusting the position of each wafer, AI systems help maintain the precision needed for mass production, reducing errors and increasing yield. Beyond the factory floor, SMIC has built an indigenous supply chain, sourcing materials and components from within China. This strategic move reduces reliance on foreign imports, making the entire production process more resilient to external shocks and trade restrictions. By localizing supply and production, SMIC insulates itself from political pressure and global uncertainty. This not only protects the company's operations but also helps build a truly sovereign semiconductor industry for China, strengthening national security and technological independence. SMIC has also pioneered adaptive manufacturing, introducing flexible production lines that can quickly switch between different chip designs. This adaptability allows the company to respond rapidly to changing market demands and technological trends. As a result, SMIC can bring new chip generations to market faster and at lower cost, accelerating China's progress in the global semiconductor race and proving that innovation can thrive even under pressure. SMIC's rumored 2 nanometer chip represents a staggering leap forward. It could place China on par with or ahead of global leaders like TSMC. Smaller transistors mean faster, more powerful, and energy-efficient chips. Advanced techniques like quantum confinement engineering boost performance. This offers a competitive advantage in AI and mobile computing. SMIC's chip could rival TSMC's in energy efficiency, crucial for data centers. This breakthrough means China is not just catching up but leading in innovation. It could reshape supply chains, offering a domestic source for cutting-edge chips. The 2 nanometer chip is a headline achievement, but Project Phoenix aims for more. It seeks a closed-loop semiconductor ecosystem within China's borders. Dependency on foreign semiconductors is a national security vulnerability. The drive for self-sufficiency extends to all technology sectors. Advanced chips are crucial for military hardware and aerospace programs. Domestically produced chips ensure military modernization without foreign reliance. Quantum computing and AI sectors will also benefit from these advancements. A domestic market for new chips fuels production and innovation, strengthening the ecosystem. China's semiconductor breakthrough is a seismic shock globally. Western companies like NVIDIA feel the impact, losing revenue from China. The rise of a competitive Chinese chip industry threatens market structures. If Chinese firms produce competitive chips, they'll compete globally. This could erode market share and profit margins for established players. China's rise undermines the West's geopolitical leverage. The ability to control technology access loses power if China is independent. A new balance of power in technology is emerging with competing ecosystems. The semiconductor story is shifting from the West to Shanghai. China's technological ambition is rewriting the rules of innovation. Restrictions didn't halt progress, they forced a successful new path. China developed new methods and materials, building a resilient base. The global implications are profound with parallel ecosystems emerging. The idea of a single global technology market is fading. Companies and countries face choices about alignment in this new order. China's rise marks a rebalancing of global power shaping the 21st century.